This morning I woke up. That's a great start to my day. Following doing morning activities, grabbing my coffee, and booting up my PC, Discord opens. And when you wake up to as many pings as I did, that is never a good thing. And it seems like it really was not a good thing. We have the Varlamore activities and Karen changes we are going to be combing through today. A very light comb though, because I want to keep this video fairly short and targeted. If we scroll past the Varlamore activities, they seem pretty good up front to me at least. I'm particularly interested in this prayer activity, which could be very interesting. But we continue to scroll past and we come down to Karend, Favor, and more. Funny side note, with the release of a whole new area, we've decided to throw some changes to Karend in the mix, especially since there are two contentious issues that we've been discussing for a long time. Favor and Transport. This is a funny side note because with these changes, I lose a entire spellbook, of which I use quite frequently but we'll get to that in a bit. So they want to remove the favor system. This is very cool, not a lot of people like it. That's awesome. But if we come down to the Arceus favor changes here, you will see that we have the ability to use the Arceus spellbook will now be locked behind the completion of the Ascent of Arceus. Arceus, whatever, it's early. If we take a look at the Ascent of Arceus here, we see that it requires 12 Hunter to complete. And of course, Combat-only accounts cannot do this quest, meaning we lose access to the Archaeus spellbook. This spellbook has historically been extremely useful for us for the myriad of teleports that we have access to. The Archaeus home teleport gives a quick teleport to the Dark Altar, allowing us to swap our spellbook back very quickly. The library teleport I used quite frequently when Slayer task skipping. The Drainer Manor teleport I used during clue scrolls and to get closer to Port Serum for more travel options. The Battlefront teleport is our closest teleport to the Slayer Master Konar, the Mind Alter Teleport, which I believe is actually filtered out with the spell filtering options I never really used, the Respawn Teleport I used a lot when I didn't have my Xerix Talisman. In fact, it's the teleport that I opted to use instead of that, so I didn't lose an inventory space. The Salve Graveyard Teleport is a very good teleport to get to the Slayer Tower for Slayer tasks. The Fankenstrain's Castle Teleport is the teleport I personally used to get to both Theater of Blood and Fasani's Nightmare. The West Ardoin teleport and the Ape Atoll teleport are actually two teleports that aren't filtered out with the spellbook filtering. Wanted to include that in there because I've bug reported this many times. The West Ardoin teleport, Harmony Island teleport, Cemetery teleport, and Ape Atoll teleport are all pretty useless for combat onlys, but if you come down here to the Barrows teleport, this is an essential teleport for mid to late game 807s, soon to be 808s, combat onlys, the account that I play, all right? Come on. That's not to mention some early combat onlys who rush make use of the ghostly grass spell. <laughs> <laughs> and the Barrows teleport. It's pretty funny. So we continue to scroll down here all the way down to Shazian, and this is a very big change as well. The ability to kill Lizardmen Shamans will now be locked behind completion of Tale of the Righteous. If we hop over to the Tale of the Righteous here, you see that it requires 10 mining. And this, of course, means that combat-only accounts can no longer obtain a Dragon Warhammer. As for the actual transportation changes, I think that allowing everyone to use the minecarts is a very good change, but that's an aside. Sort of like the changes to the teleport spell they're making. It will require Client of Karend, the magic requirement to cast the spell is lowered, which is very cool, and the runes needed for the spell are adjusted. I wanted to quickly cover some history History behind the combat only mode and some changes we've seen. Dark Beasts were removed from the Karend Catacombs, which means we lost access to the Dark Bow. This isn't huge at all, of course, and is more of a flex item to have. And that change happened on July 25th, 2019. Last Man Standing, of course, the 19th of January, 2022, to combat botting participating in competitive now requires players to have at least 750 total and 30 quest points. I have 738 total and 55 quest points. Personally, I think I was the only one impacted by this change. For normal combat onlys, LMS sort of just became endgame content rather than early to mid game. And last but not least, before this change, the wilderness demi bosses were locked behind the medium wilderness diary, which is, of course, another thing that we've just lost over time. So I ask of you, Jagex, please 
Please don't make us lose another piece of content. The Archaea Spellbook is very impactful on this account type, and we've had this since the beginning. The Archaea Spellbook is one of the earliest unlocks that I got, not just for the teleports, but also for making use of the ensouled heads. Now, mind you, we didn't have full access to the Archaea Spellbook, but I think completely removing access is... Very sad. And that's not to mention that future combat onlys won't be able to obtain this bad boy in my hand right here, the Dragon Warhammer, which is very impactful and I would even say required for endgame content that we participate in. So I can't come to this video asking for these changes not to happen. I came to this video prepared. And if these changes should come to pass, I have a possible solution for this. If we take a look at the Fremenic Trials quest, if you look at the requirements here, you see the option to craft the liar for the quest or to kill an individual for the drop of the liar. Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? I think giving us an option to complete these quests via combat or via skilling would be the best way to address issues pertaining to this. And of course, it's not just the two quests that I mentioned, but I know skillers are also losing access to the tithe farm. Access to the tithe farm will now be locked behind the completion of the Depths of Despair. During the Depths of Despair, you need to defeat a level 36 Sand Snake. Skillers don't do combat. This is an extremely big ask of them. So, without further ado, leave your thoughts below. If this blog impacts you in any way, I'd love to hear from you. And look, I know some people might comment, well, you choose to restrict yourself, so obviously there's gonna be changes. This isn't a simple ask of, hey, give us new content. This is an ask of, please let us keep our existing content. I'll see you in the next one.